Hello my fellow unicorns, this is part 3 of decluttering my jewelry collection. Um, if you haven't seen my other videos on decluttering my jewelry uh, collection, please uh, check them out in the link below in the description. I've linked them all there. Um, let's get started. This isn't jewelry, but it's very crinkly. It's a perfume dispenser, and I've never used it, uh, obviously, but I love keeping it in the packaging because it's just so crinkly, and it's pretty, and I think I'll use it one day, but I've had it for years and I've never used it, and yet I still don't want to get rid of it. So, I probably could put this somewhere else. But in the meantime, I'll just keep it right there. This is a locket and it's a family heirloom. There's no picture in it. But it's a pretty little flower. And I'm going to keep it because it's been in the family, so I just need to clean it a little bit. Um, this one is another um, a pendant thing for a necklace, and I just need to find chains, the right... It's all about finding the right chain to go with these necklaces. And this one's really nice. I have the bracelet and earrings that go with this. So I just need to find something that will look great so I can wear the whole set. Um, this I got in Mexico. It's the um, Mexican sun god or the Aztec calendar, and it's got some stones around it, and then on the back it's got this, like, um, the serpent. So, it's really cool. I got it from Mexico. This, I can't remember where I got this, but I love how this looks very intricate and beautiful, so I am going to keep this. I've got this other pendant, it's a teardrop pendant of the stone, um, this stone is lapis lazuli, and it's a really just simple but pretty blue stone, so I'm gonna keep that. This, I'm not sure if this was for a bracelet, but this was a charm where it's like the protecting you from the evil eye. And, um, and the little thing of grapes. I don't know what the grapes signify. If you know anything about that, let me know in the comments. But I'm just gonna keep it because, um, I think it's really cute and it'll protect me. <laughs> and then I have this beautiful turquoise um, cross. It's silver and turquoise. 
I just need to find the right, like with all of these pendants, I need to find the right chain for it. And then this one's special because I found this at the beach and it's like almost a near perfect shell and I don't know. If anything, I probably won't wear it as a necklace, although I could, um, because it has a perfect hole for it to put, attach a chain or something. But I think I'm going to put this with my stone collection because I have a few shells in there. I just need to put it somewhere where it's not going to break. But isn't that cool? I mean, I found this and it's just like for a necklace, although I admittedly I'm not going to wear it, so I'm going to set this to the side and put it with my stone collection and yeah really pretty. It's got gold and a little bit of silver in there and it's sort of, this one's like a choker and it's really elegant looking. So I'm gonna keep that one. This one, mm, I have to see, let me see. This one, um, I just haven't worn. It is real silver, but I just don't wear this, so I am gonna gift this away. I've got this other gold chain, very simple, and I think I'm gonna keep it because it's been in the family and it's real gold, so I'm just gonna keep that. got this gold chain, which actually I should put in here. Um, it's like a choker, so it's very simple and elegant. I should put that there. Hmm. I think I might get rid of this chain because it's like a dark metal. I'm not really sure what I would use it for. None of the pendants that I have would really match this. And because it's not silver, it looks a little cheap to me. So I'm gonna get rid of it. Okay. Oh yeah. So actually, this chain is really pretty, um, but it broke, so I have to get it fixed. It's a simple gold chain, but it, I have a pendant for it, actually. So this um, G is the pendant that belongs to this necklace, uh, but I have to get it fixed. So I'll keep it, and I'm going to put this G with the other pendants. And I will keep this. I just have to get it fixed. There's a number of jewelry pieces that need to get fixed. Um, okay, so these are two different silver um, chains that um, I can use for the pendants and I can switch them in and out. Um, and this one's also one that I could use for maybe the cross one or I could use it for the stone or I could probably use it for this one. Yeah, that looks nice. So I'm going to keep it.
these these chains I will keep. This one I am gonna keep. It's so cute. It's um this it looks so nice on the neck and even though it's beads, it doesn't it looks very elegant and classy and sexy. It it doesn't look um, cheap when I wear it and, you know, I could wear this with black or red or dark colors, um, it's a very nice necklace. You could wear it with something with jeans or you could wear it with a dress, it looks really nice. <laughs> I totally forgot that I do have a pearl necklace, so I have the one pearl bracelet that you might have seen in my other video, and then I have this one uh, pearl necklace, it's real pearls, and you know, I should wear pearls more, they're very, very dainty and elegant, and yeah. Um, okay, this one is super cute, it's just gold and black. Um, this is very heavy. Um, it's real gold. And, um, yeah, it looks really pretty. And I guess it's just so simple. one's really, really cute. I don't really care too much for the chain, but it does look nice. Um, I guess it could be worn dressed up or down, but I like the bone teeth. It's funky, kind of hippie, kind of um, bohemian. They love. This is like a choker, kind of. Um, but I'm trying to show you in a better way. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? It's so pretty. So I'm definitely keeping that. Then I've got this one. This is, I got this at, um, I love Native American jewelry. And so I got this, shoot, I can't remember if this was in Mexico or this was either in Mexico or in Tucson. But, um, this was made by, uh, indigenous people, and yeah, I think it's so pretty. I love the colors, I love turquoise. I don't know what stone this is, but it's a different stone, and this one right here is a different stone. So, yeah. Now this is actually a bracelet, and it's just a leather one, and it's my husband's bracelet, and he normally doesn't hardly ever wears this, um, but I'm going to keep it because we actually recently used it for a video, uh, like as a costume, so I'm going to keep it for that purpose, but otherwise we don't really use it, so I'm just going to keep it there for now. This is a simple gold necklace, but the pendant is beautiful. I could have sworn it was red, but I guess it has a black, um, like crystal in the middle, and then it's gold, 
And yeah, this is very simple and pretty. I used to wear this more. I should wear it again. This one's really cute. It is like, it's a necklace, but how do I show you? It's got all these, it's like clunky, but it's really pretty. Like if you're trying to make a statement and you can kind of, you, um, it's not really a choker, but it, you can have it sit higher up on your neck so it looks like very form-fitting, like not very loose. And, and it's really like a statement. It's so cute. I love this one. And I love how it sounds. Don't you? This is another choker, um, which I like. It's, I don't know where I got this. This was not like an, I bought it at a store. I can't remember. It was either Nordstrom Rack. It might have been Nordstrom Rack. But yeah, this is such a cute choker. It looks really nice. You can wear different colors with it because it has different colors in it. It's, um, a fabric. And, um, uh, yeah. I'm keeping it. Now, these, I don't know if I'm gonna keep. What is that? I don't know. This looks like... This looks cheap. And I think I used it, like, it was during that time, like, a few years ago, where... Um, these string, um, a leathery type chokers were really in, but this looks cheap, so I'm getting rid of this one. This one looks better. Let's see if I'm gonna keep it. Yeah, this is cute. Um, I like that it has the little gold embellishments here. The leaves. It looks it looks really sexy. Like if you if you wear like a deep V neck, you know? That could look really nice. Now let me check this brown one if this is worth it. Okay, no, I don't like this brown one. It's like the one where you kind of you you tie it around your neck, loop it around your neck multiple times, but I wouldn't wear this in brown, and I just don't, I think it looks, it, I don't think it looks good, so I'm getting rid of that. Okay, I've got more silver. Okay, so I have another one of these. Why do I have two? Anyway, this is one necklace, or one chain that goes with this necklace. So I'm gonna keep it. I guess I have an extra one. And this is a little choker, but it looks cheap, doesn't it? It's got these, a purple, pink, and blue bead, and it's not real silver. Let me see if it looks good at all. I feel like this looks very juvenile. Like, I feel like I got this at Claire's, you know? So, I'm gonna get rid of this one. Okay, so this is gorgeous. Um, it's a three layer necklace and it's very shiny silver so when I wear it, it just looks so elegant and pretty keep it now I have another pearl this still has a tag on it so obviously I haven't worn it but it's really pretty and it's sort of like I just need the right occasion to wear this um, it looks really good on and I like that it has per 
pearls. I'm not really into the rhinestones, but since the rhinestones are a little um, iridescent and it, it blends in with the gold uh, chain, gold, um, yeah, the gold chain part. So let me see. Yeah, this one's pretty. I just need the right, I need the right clothing and vent for this, like something fancy. Okay, so I really have to clean this, but it, and especially because it's so pretty. This is a silver and gold, I think, where did, where did my family get this? I can't remember. I think possibly Mexico, but it's really pretty. I just need to clean it. So maybe I'll do a video where any, I'll probably do another video where any jewelry that I'm, that I need to clean. Um, will be featured on there, so this will be one of them. I'll just clean all my jewelry. This is a really gorgeous uh, choker. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? It's silver. Um, this I got at a thrift store. A lot of the stuff I either got it, they're either hand-me-downs from my family or, honestly, thrift stores. You can find some really great things. A couple of times they are from actual stores like Nordstrom or something like that. But the vast majority of my jewelry is hand-me-downs or, like, thrift stores or from Mexico. Okay. Alright, this is... I need to put this somewhere else. This is a beautiful choker. I need to put this in like a baggie. In fact, I will do that because This I wore on my wedding. Um, my dress was like a ball gown with a sweetheart um, neckline and a and the bodice of it was um, full of like crystals and stuff and beading. And so this simple choker complemented it so well. Gently put it in. Okay. This one is also very interesting. I think it needs a little bit of a cleaning. It's silver and it's a choker and I like chokers but I also like layering. Um, but this is very intricate and um, yeah, I just, you know, I need more, I need more fancy events to go to so I can wear stuff like this. Or I should just be fancy. Even on, on non-fancy events. Let's put it here. Oh, man. Okay. Then, I've got this. A uh, gold choker, and look how pretty that is. I love wearing black with gold. Like I, I think gold jewelry is so pretty. There was a time where silver was more popular, but I really like that gold is popular right now. So dainty and gorgeous. Now, these are crystals. I can't remember um, where I got 
this from. Uh, I don't think these were Swarovski. Wait, I think actually my choker was, for my wedding choker was Swarovski. But this is, it's just that I never wear this. That's the unfortunate thing. You know, the last time I wore this was honestly over 20 years ago. No, not 20. It's like maybe 15 years ago at a Halloween party and I was a 1920s girl. That's the last time I wore this. So it's like, do it, I know it's pretty. I know this is pretty, but do I keep it with the hopes that I might wear it? Or do I part with it? It's just like, I might wear it with something, but what? The last time, like I said, the last time I wore it, I was a 1920s flapper girl at a Halloween party, you know. It looked great, but that's the last time I wore it. <laughs> Which is sad. I think I'm going to keep it because I'm not sure what to do with it yet, so... I'm just going to hold on to it for now. Alright, this one I think I'm going to get rid of is like a fancy little necklace. But I don't really wear red. Yeah, I just, I wouldn't wear this. So, I'm going to let this one go. I think my Mom got it at a thrift store. I have this one. And it's a really pretty, intricate um, necklace. And I have, on the other side in my other video, I have the earrings that match this. Now, this is very fancy has to be worn with a blue dress or something that will complement uh, with this blue, all these blues, so. Um, so yeah, it's really pretty and intricate. It looks better. Right now, probably, it's hard to see how it would look, but it looks really pretty on but yeah, look at this oh, the only thing is it gets kind of tang tangled up pretty fast yeah, but look at that isn't that gorgeous? Okay, so this I gotta put to the other side, but this is a, uh, cause it's a bracelet, and, but yeah, this is just a very dainty bracelet, which I like, um, this is, um, Stella and Dot, and I think my mom or my dad got me this, but, but yeah, it's just a simple little bracelet. Very cute. I'm gonna keep it, I just gotta put it on the other side. Um, oh, right. Now these are uh, dog tags, but they're not real. Um, my husband has a chain somewhere and he used to wear these and I gotta I'll keep it I'll keep it with this bracelet and okay so this I want to talk about this earring this is a little spring 
book and earring and I lost the other one. Uh, I was filming in, in, in a movie, in a film, and uh, in an independent film. And there was kind of like a fight scene and I lost the other one. So what I want to do is go to a custom jeweler to see if I could get a pair of these made in silver and in gold. Like, they look so cool on and I just want I haven't find I haven't found anything like this in a long time. So if you guys ever see any earrings that look like this, please let me know in the comments where I could get it because I will definitely buy it. So I'm gonna I'm just holding on to it for now until I go to a custom jeweler to get them made. This I should probably put on the other side is a pin from the Hollywood Pantages. I used to work at the Hollywood Pantages Theater and I got a pin. Then I got to keep it. So I'm just holding on to it. This other um, bracelet is so cute. Very dainty. I like reminds me of it reminds me of ancient Egypt because of the eye. But look at that. Isn't that cute? I gotta put this on the other side where all my bracelets are. So I'm gonna put that together with that silver one. And I'll probably put these together too. My other stuff. Okay. This one's super cute, um, and you can make it as short or as long as you want. It's adjustable, so I love this one. It's not real gold, and I think I got it. I got this either at Macy's or Nordstrom, one of those places, or was it Nordstrom Rack? Anyway, I love it. So sad. So this one broke. I have to get it fixed now. I need to find a good jeweler to fix all my <laughs> broken jewelry. Um. Okay. So this connects here somehow, but it's a really beautiful necklace. It looks when I wear it, I feel like I'm an Egyptian pharaoh or something. And I have the bracelet to match um, that I showed in my last video. But oh, yeah, so this part broke off, and the the string that that holds these together is broken. The top one's still intact, or the bottom one's still intact, but the top one here broke off. So. Okay, so this is just a bunch of studs that I keep but I don't really wear often. This is a little button. Uh, was this part of my wedding dress? I can't remember. Anyway. Um, hmm. Some of these are outdated that I, want. I know I'm not going to wear. Okay, so I've got these red ones and these moonstone ones, which I know I'm not going to wear, so I'm going to get rid of those. Um, these are lapis lazuli studs, and I'm going to keep them. These buttons, I don't remember what they're for, so I'm going to keep them for now. This is I don't know what this is for, so I'm going to get rid of it. Um, then I've got these triangular gold studs. I'm going to keep them. Oh, yes. I have these really cute gold dragonfly earrings. I'm going to keep those. 
And then I got these little butterflies, which are cute too. So I'll keep those. These are really cute. Uh, teardrop earrings. I'll keep those. Then I've got these teardrop lapis lazuli earrings, and I'll just keep those. Now, do I keep these little moonstone ones? That's the question. You know what? I'm probably gonna put my pin and this earring in there. Yeah, so I've decided to not keep these. I just never wear them, and I don't think they look very good on me, so I just checked. So those will be given away. Okay, so I did not get rid of as much as I thought, but that's okay. Um, I, I think I did a clean out of my necklaces a while back, and so um, I am going to keep all these. They're really pretty, um, and I'm, I know I'm going to use them, and some of them I'm going to use out. I just need more fancy events. <laughs> but anyways... I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, make sure you hit the subscribe button because I do not advertise on any other social media platforms. I'm just strictly on YouTube. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Good night.